Hello and welcome again to RDG with me, Peter. Let's look a little bit more about the feature number one of Total Commander, which is its layout and usability and ergonomic functions, as opposed to Windows Explorers. There we have two locations on our computer represented by the two panes, left and right, switching between the panes, as we said, happening with a key tap, as you see on the screen. Right down there, we see a small command line, which also changes to the pane in focus. In this case, I'm focused on the right pane, on the drive U, and if I click the tab, I'm going to switch to the drive F, which is on the left side. One of its main features is the easiness and the approach to moving and copying and basically the two main functions we do when we manage our material. As you see, I've opened up here a um, SD card with a ton of photos on there. It's like a 982 files, which is also something that I can easily see in Total Commander. And let's say as opposed to, I'm gonna open the same location with Windows Explorer right now and see how does it look like there. There we go, Windows Explorer. It's basically a one big jungle of different options and locations. Yes, it has the total size and the free size information, but I'm really not sure I wanna know all my drive at the same time so what's going on here. It's too much for me, too much figures. So going to the SD card, and you see, I need to do everything with the mouse if I try to do it with a keyboard. It's kind of a little bit, not really. I mean, as opposed to just clicking right here. You see, I'm in the card root folder, going to the photos, going to the next directory, and I'm there. And in Windows, I just do click on my folder. I gotta put the right key, and then I'm gonna put enter right now. And then I see the photos again. It does not seem kind of quick enough for me. I don't know why I don't like it. But anyway, I guess if you like Windows Explorer, I guess you're in the wrong video right now. So let's do now in a simple copy paste operation. Oh, <laughs> we can do that right here. Then to select several items, I actually it's kind of like I can't select with the keyboard it's gonna be a little difficult. I need to hold the shift key and press down. Um, this concept that is, I mean, it, it is mouse focused, mouse oriented program. And now to copy the files, I just need to, I need to either open another instance of Windows Explorer to show my target location, which I can do. Let's try that. And supposedly I want to copy them to my NAS system, all these photos. So let's do that. As you see, I'm clicking really too much with the mouse. Oops, sorry, wrong. And there is where I want to put these photos in that folder to the right. Now, you could use these two windows, but you see, I need to now arrange the two. So basically put them like this, put the one to the side, so that happened to be side by side. And now I have like something like a copy of Total Commander, two instances of Windows Explorer. And basically now what I can do is I can go here and select all files, clicking Control A, and just I can drag drop them. Option number one. Option number two, or selecting them with the mouse, holding the shift, and then pressing the right mouse button, now pressing copy. That is what actually most people know about this. Go here to the folder when I copy the files. And now the, the thing is, there is nowhere to click. Piddle. I feel uncomfortable clicking on a file and trying to 
paste on top all the files that I've selected from the other drive. But that will be the operation. If I paste the files right now, they will be pasted. And to move them though, because I don't want them to stay on the SD card, I will need to make a cut. I cut them and then again paste them right here. You know what, we can actually check how much time it's gonna really take for this explorer to copy these photos on the other side. And one thing I notice here is actually I do have raw files and JPEG files and in this case actually I don't want to copy the raw files. And now it's where it gets a little bit um, difficult here because the options you have is you can select all, you can select none. So selecting all, selecting none and then inverting the selection which means that if I select one file and I invert the selection I'll select all of the files except this one. But that is where I would rather not do that because I need to select only the JPEG files and in this case I need to then go to the type, sort them by the type and select all raw files and that quite a lot actually, it's 400 files we're talking about. And there it is. So I selected now all the raw files which I want now to remove actually from my SD card. And I know that speed's gonna be probably limited to the SD card, but that's why the running the experiment makes sense. Um, and still the comparison between Windows Explorer itself and Total Commander is not just about the time in which it will copy the files, but actually in the ergonomics of how I get to reach a certain action and activity. It's gonna be difficult for me to organize my files with Windows Explorer. Honestly, I'm not gonna be able to, because I have a ton of folders, a ton of files, and I want them sorted in a certain way. I have a lot of locations, and I wanna, and even if I know my locations until I just navigate with Windows Explorer to these locations, I'm just gonna get old. Coming back to our little, let's say, test. Let's make a folder right here. Test row photos copy good. And I'm gonna... <laughs> there they are, they're selected again. Um, but that, that's the reality with Windows Explorer, it's just that's about it. And then I'm gonna go to this folder and just press the right button and paste all these raw files there. So let's do that now. That is the copy process shows 40 megabytes per second and it will be around 3 minutes and 30 seconds so pretty neat information Now let's do the same operation with our friend, Total Commander. So there we go with this menu is the selection of the drives. And it's a, a bit less complicated, I would say. So there is my card. 
there is my folder images and then I see boom I see actually all the files and I can page them down and page them up in a matter really of seconds and now what gets interesting is I want to select all the raw files right so instead of basically selecting all files which I can easily do like that with control A which is the same shortcut as with Windows Explorer what I also can do is I can select I'm gonna just go back one folder up and down just to deselect all files I can only select a certain file type here so this is something that I know I can do I don't know how to do it but before that I'm gonna just give you the normal selection approach which is basically each file is marked and becomes red right so that's the way you just keep it pressed and it started marking file by file right so this is the manual process right we're not gonna do that though and once you go back to another directory it automatically unmarks the files what we can do now is we can press the plus on the memory keypad and add files for selection so if I leave it like that star star it's gonna basically select all the files because star is a joker for the file name and the other star is a joker for the extension what basically what I could do so here and write rw two files or if I don't remember how they were called but I know that they're not jpeg I can put basically R right here and a star press OK and there you go it's a little quicker than the Windows Explorer and what I can even now do is I can shrink the selection or basically manage my selection and remove all files which have the extension starting with RO2 and it removes all the RW2 files from the extension so plus I can easily select now the JPEG all the JPEG files are selected and it does this selection inversion that is in Windows Explorer is a little bit for me a little strange comment though and yeah even it, if it might do some work for you on some uh, rare occasions I don't think it is very very hotkey comment which you would use all the time so that it's uh, so, so such a such an attention there uh, so what we can do now is we can uh, basically add the raw files or add all files and I'm gonna just remove the JPEG files with shrink selection which is the minus key bam. and then I have only the raw files right now selected so let's do this again go on here RW2 there we have all the raw files selected so now I switched with a tab to the destination so now I'm just gonna go and find the directory where I wanna copy them so video And here making a folder test folder or as we called it what was it row test copy okay I'm entering this folder and I'm going back to the source and what I only need to do in order to copy the files is basically press F5 and confirm with the enter that's it so it's as simple as that F5 bearing my beloved stopwatch and go the moment that the file is actually copied to a destination for example um, it's getting deselected so you can basically trace the progress of the copy process and we want to work with the program until it's copying so we can just push the background 
and then this is moving to the background. I can work with the program, looking at some other files. But that's where it's getting interesting when you have some mixture of files which you want to copy. Selecting only a certain number of fi uh, certain files, it's crucially easier. And then I can add the XMP to the selection here and then I can remove the move like that. So selecting, copying, multiple files, it's a pretty good concept. Yeah, I'm not just benchmarking the speed of the copy process was not really the goal of this video. But since we started, we can do that actually. Um, but now what is of course even better here is I could add all these files to an archive. Let's just browse a little folders to see how does it work. So basically these are my folders. And a parent folder again. So going to a subfolder, subfolder, and now one of the functions that I like to use is okay, how big is the subfolder though that I've put right now? So let's see how big is this folder right here 219 gigabytes, and how big is this folder right here? 36 gigabytes. How big is this one? Let's check it out. 61 gigabytes. How much is this one? 6 gigabytes. This is 12 gigabytes. Thirty gigabyte, forty-one. Let's see our still copying. Windows Explorer was four sixteen. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a little quicker. It's gonna be under four minutes. Done. It's basically 357. So yeah, it is quicker. Definitely it is quicker and that's what I wanted to see. I've never checked the speed, but it's that's why I haven't checked it because it's obviously quicker. Thanks for staying to the end of this first feature of Total Commander, the copy move and select functions with me, Peter, and us OG and the main cave. I'll see you in the next vid. We're going to talk about further functions like archiving and synchronizing directories. And if you like the videos, just subscribe and you will see when we release the next one, how it's going to be soon. It's a lot of material that I can uh, work on and I hope it helps you guys. It's, it's, it's done only with love and that purpose. Um, appreciate it. Stay healthy and take care the next time.